but this is the G phone. There is no such thing as a single G phone? Okay, this is not the G phone. You've probably been hearing a little bit about the G phone lately. I'm here to tell you there is actually no G phone. Instead, I'd like to introduce you to the Android platform. This is a platform we hope will enable people to create thousands of G phones. Open is good because it's, it's about choice and, and it allows people to do what they want. You get more innovation, it lowers costs, it increases creativity. Here you can see the web browser application. The web browser is based on the open source WebKit. It allows you to see pages just as it would appear on your desktop. Pages load quickly at 3G speeds. If I want to see more of the page, I can grab it and move it around a little bit. If I'd like to see the web page in full glory, I can do that as well. We can also view the visual history of our browser. We can go in here and see all the sites we've recently visited. The Android platform even allows us to change the Earth's rotation and alter the sun's gravitational pull. Not really, but it does show us some cool 3D graphics this platform has to offer. Maps application James Bond style. One of the Android platform's best new features is the Maps application. It's basically a navigation system on a phone. James Bond has been allowed exclusive access to the platform for years and has pursued many global terrorists with this device. This device worked for Bond, and it can work for you. Here is Street View. Hey man, look left. Do it again. One more time. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Zoom in a little bit. Thanks. Android will lower costs for consumers by selling ad space on the platform. Google's primary revenue source is from advertising. We feel that if users do not wish to receive ads, they will be able to pay a monthly fee. <laughs> Just remember, no G-Phone, Android coming soon.